Here we go, here we go, check this out. Bam! I have a Luger. <laughs> yeah, I just hit that guy. I think I hit him like twice there with that. <laughs> Dude, I really like this gun. <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> Alright. Alright, let, let me get him with the machine guns here. There we go. <laughs> I knew you could do that in IL-2, but uh, I just wanted to... I, I hadn't figured out how to do it, so now that I figured it out, I wanted to show it to you guys, I shot the wing. <laughs> I just put a hole through my own wing. Come on. These are hitting him. Yes, they are. And so as you guys can see, we are once again back in virtual reality here today, and we are back in World War One. We are flying as the Red Baron today, so I really hope I don't get myself shot down. Some of those have got to be hitting them. <laughs> I love using the pistol, man, for like high aspect shots when you can't get your nose on the guy. Oh, he's going down. All right, there he goes. I wish I knew if I got him with the pistol or the machine guns. Virtual reality at night is pretty cool. It's very up close and personal. Six o'clock looks clear. This guy trying to dip into the clouds, but I saw the outline and I can stay with him. There we go. And I love the lighting as you fire the machine guns. And it's a lot easier to walk the tracers onto target, especially in these new clouds that they put in IL-2. World War I combat is even more realistic now. Quick draw. Bam. <laughs> oh, wow. Did I just... Did I just kill that guy with a pistol shot? <laughs> Was he going down, or when I shot him, did he start going down? Did I shoot the pilot? I don't know. Is he going down? Yeah, he kind of looks like he's out of control here. Looks like a spiral, a death spiral, if you will. Yeah, he's going down. God, I wish I knew if I hit him with the pistol. Yeah, he just broke up. Poor guy. Got shot down with a pistol, I think. All right, this guy's trying to break left here. We'll get some machine gun rounds on him. There we go, and as he continues to pull, I'm gonna pull out the pistol. Bam. 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 Some of those had to come pretty close. I don't think I hit him though, but they probably went right beside. A couple more machine gun rounds for him. This, this Fokker DR1, man, this thing is, it, I don't know, it's kind of a pig when it turns to the left but the right turn is really good and it's really slow relative to the other air, uh, allied aircraft. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Uh, he caught like two rounds there, I think. Oh yeah. Oh, that guy just got lit up. Here we go, here we go. 
Yeah, I mean, he's so... Oh, he broke apart. You hate to see it. Yeah, there was no surviving that. The World War One dogfighting in virtual reality is the most immersive thing I've done in virtual reality yet. Uh, I've tried, you know, some other things, racing and other sims, but World War One is incredible. You feel like you're really there, especially with all the wind going by. Wrap up another kill here, I think. Yeah. And these new clouds make it look amazing as well. Yeah. And he rolls over. And he's going down. Look at that, he just disappears into the cloud. That's so ominous, man. <laughs> oh my god. That's so cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That hit the pilot. I got the I watched that bullet hit the pilot in the back of the the like the lower neck. I watched that bullet go right into him. Holy crap, that is unbelievable, dude. <laughs> Wow, that's just insane, man. This guy's been hanging down here for a while. I'm going to try to take him with the pistol. Pistol? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Yo, I hit him. I, I think I hit him one time there. He just rolls over. Did I just kill that guy with a pistol? <laughs> no way. <laughs> so, you know, I've done racing in virtual reality, I've done multiple flying sims now in virtual reality. Yeah. 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 Oh, those are good. Those are hitting them. And, like I was saying, the World War One flight sims are by far the greatest because you get up close and personal. You know, and you're constantly moving your head left and right because you're basically inside of a kite. And, you know, the the maneuverability on, on these things is just unbelievable. You hear the wind going by, you hear the wings creaking, you know, and there's also a really weird, like, darkness to World War One combat, you know, because you, you kind of respect the other guy who's up here with you, but also you're trying to light him on fire and kill him in like one of the worst ways you can kill anybody so it's this weird paradoxical thing that's going on this guy is just absolutely getting lit up he's beyond damaged at this point and we had a bit of a jam there with the guns come on come on pistol this is literally what you're for I'm a little too far to be getting pistol rounds on target, but miracles do happen. Come on. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Those are good. That's hitting them. You see that? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh my god, he went down. He died. I shot him down with a pistol. Dude, I feel like the German Clint Eastwood with this pistol. I love this thing, man. <laughs> it's so awesome. Look at this guy. Looks like he's going for the vertical. And it's going to get him slow. Should make him an easy target here. I think I hit him a couple times there. And it does seem like he's going down. Right into that forest down there. And he breaks apart as he goes down. So that's going to be a rough landing. Yeah. <laughs> you want to call that a landing <laughs> all right you guys have to let me know what you think about the nighttime world war one dog fighting because it is really cool look at that you can just see the tracers you can just walk the tracers onto target it's so cool that was very close thank you for almost ramming into me six o'clock is clear and this guy's got a tail gunner so we do have to be careful I want to get these tracers onto the tail gunner. That would be ideal. And he's absolutely... Oh, he's on fire. I didn't even notice he was going off black smoke. Poor bastard. 
Wow, he's going down. All right, guys, a lot of you were asking for some World War I dogfighting, so we brought it back. I had a tremendous time. If you're on the fence about VR, I'm here to tell you that it is worth it. If you have the money to spend on it, it is a very, a very cool experience, especially in World War One. It is quickly becoming one of my personal favorite videos to make. But uh, yeah, that, that's it for me, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.